Morning guys, welcome to the night of January. We've got water flowing. <laughs> so yeah, I'm back down on the Ings at the moment. There's a fair flow on that. So yeah, I managed to get it powered up and level off something like. Um, this has only been done with tractors to be honest. Unfortunately I don't have a digger so I can't sculpt these edges out properly. So we have to see how they go. They're a bit steeper than I wanted. Um, it'd be nice just to pack it all in from the side. But it's big enough to get the tractor across now. And same on the other side as well. It's a bit steeper in some of this as well. But there's a bit of area down there to fill in anyway. <coughs> so not too fussed. But yeah, it's getting there. It's not too bad. The only slight problem we had last night is absolutely hold it down. The one thing I did not want to happen was for us to have three or four each of the rain and uh, me come down this morning and find that near enough all that had just been washed away. <laughs> which which is always a slight possibility down there. Obviously you've seen the flooding before. Um, and as all this is still loose it wouldn't take a huge amount just to wipe it all out. Um, hence why the first job this morning is to come down here and have a look. Have a look see what happened. Um, but yeah, it's still here. Uh, kind of expecting a bit of landslide slippage still, but it should bed in alright. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I am going to end up having to top it up where the tractor runs. Because there'll be a centre bit down there that won't get touched by the wheels. And then either side of it, I'll end up filling it up. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we'll see how it goes. There isn't any plan to put a, a cap on it, as in hardcore or anything. Um, but we'll see how it goes. So that's one bit of relief anyway. Most of the soil power's gone. There's about, what, a third, a quarter of it left. Uh, I'll, leave, I'll leave it down here for the moment and I can top up that bridge. As it, uh, oh, blind, look at all this. As it sinks down. Oh, that's a lot of water. Oh, that's better. So yeah, um, not yesterday, day before. So Tuesday was Lammer. As well as yesterday, but I wasn't there yesterday. Um, yeah, I went down with four of my mates. Sorry, three of my mates, so there's four of us. Uh, wasn't too bad journey down, to be honest. There was a, a bit of delays when there was a car crash, as usual. But Wombles managed to get there. I mean, the, the traffic people got there. Um, and sorted that out. So yeah, straight into the car park, straight into the NEC. Started having a look around. Um, one thing I do tend to find which shows is there's quite a lot of the same stuff there. So it was a bit like that this year. Um, there were some odd bits. I went to have a look at the the uh, Arkazin, I think it's Arkazin, um, the bale packer. That's a fair hefty piece of kit. Um, look well built. Um, I'd love to have a play with one of them. <coughs> um, had a look at the bale baron. That was an even bigger bit of kit. And to be honest, it seemed quite complicated. Compared to the Arkansas um, bale packer, but it's interesting to see them up close and personal rather than just in a book. Uh, ten bale sledge that weighed two thousand pound, as in the American book. But you're knocking on for like eight hundred kilos. You're looking at a ton behind behind baler <laughs> of just sled and bale. Oh well, rear as well. This bit was flooded the other day. Uh, sorry, it wasn't flooded the other day. It was dried. This has all come back overnight. Um, yeah, but the uh, the biggest. Well, I kind of dropped the ball with it. <laughs> HS went down, and I completely missed him. <laughs> sorry, bud. Uh, yeah, there was a bit of. <coughs> it was supposed to ring us, and he couldn't get hold of me. 
because his phone's, I think, rubbish. He stopped filming on it, that's why. Um, and I thought he was stuck in, there was another accident on the A1. So I thought he was stuck in traffic, and by the time I realised it, it was too late. So that went pear shaped. And then, obviously, there's some other people there. KV was supposed to be with him, and I missed them. Oh, I missed him. <coughs> uh, Johnny didn't manage to get down, he was working, so I missed him. Didn't get onto the JCB stand at 11 o'clock, so Mr. Lord Muck, uh, George Saunders and Dina again for the second year in a row. Yeah, it just didn't work out. <laughs> yeah. It does mean we have to have an excuse to have a, another get together at some point. So, yeah, what a bad day out. Apart from getting my trousers pulled down for some lunch. God, they're expensive there. Anyway, from a very wet, dank day, I'm going to leave it there and I'll catch you later, guys. Cheers, bye.